Hi, I'm Liz and I'm on the developer relations team at Shopify. In this series, we're covering the basics of Shopify app development and the tools available to help you build them. In the previous video, we used the Shopify CLI to clone a base Node.js Shopify app, set it up in the partner dashboard, and create products on our development store. In this video, we're going to introduce Polaris, Shopify's design system, and add a new component to our Shopify app. Polaris is Shopify's design system. It's made up of a combination of React and CSS components that can be used to build user interfaces that are familiar to Shopify merchants. It also has accompanying guides to help you understand the how and the why when it comes to building user interfaces for Shopify. Shopify apps can be embedded inside the Shopify admin or operate outside as a standalone web app. When you're building an embedded app, we encourage you to use Polaris to create a seamless merchant experience. You'll find the documentation at polaris.shopify.com. You'll find components to help structure your pages and layouts, build forms, and provide user feedback. Each component has example code showcasing different ways the component can be used. Now let's get into the code. In this series, we'll be building an app that allows merchants to change the price of products. This exact app probably wouldn't be that useful to merchants, but it should demonstrate the tools available to developers. We'll use the Polaris React components opposed to the CSS components. We recommend the React components and they're what we use at Shopify. Open up the code that was cloned by the CLI in the previous video. The Shopify CLI app is a Next.js app with a custom server. In the server folder, you'll find the server.js file. That has most of the backend logic right now. The routing and authorization flow. But in this video, we're gonna be focusing on the front end. With Next.js, each page is a React component that is exported from the pages folder. The base project already has Polaris installed, but otherwise you could install it with your package manager. Open up the app.js file. We can see at the top we've imported Polaris CSS into our project already. You should also see translations and the app provider component imported. The app provider component is a required component that enables sharing global settings. This component must wrap your entire app for Polaris components to work correctly. Now we can add a new component to our project. Open the index.js file. You should see a page and a heading component. We're gonna keep the page component. This is a structural component used to build the outer wrapper of the page. We're going to add a layout component. The layout component has three configurations, one column, two column, or annotated. We're gonna add a default one column layout component inside the page component. Next, we're gonna add an empty state component. Empty state components are used when another component has no data to show. Maybe a list that will show orders or customers. You can provide the merchant with context on what this space will be used for once there is data and instructions on how to get started. We can copy the code from the Polaris documentation. This example also uses a card component, but I'm just gonna grab the empty state. I'm going to remove the secondary action button. We don't need it for this page. And update the primary action button. This button will open a resource picker, allowing us to choose products. And update the text descriptions. Now, if we preview the app, we can see our newly added empty state component. There, now you should know that Polaris is Shopify's design system. There are a collection of components and guidance on how you should use them. In the next video, we'll be covering AppBridge, a tool used to build embedded Shopify apps. For links to the code that was used in this video, check out the video description. For more information on building Shopify apps, make sure to subscribe to this channel and check out the documentation on shopify.dev. Join the Shopify Devs Discord server to meet fellow developers and ask questions.